Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for joining in. This side, Rahul Morgan here. I am I am talking on behalf of Treasury Consulting LLP, which is a limited liability partnership firm incorporated in India, and we are having multiple revenue streams. And I'm very pleased to share that till today we have done more than uh, four international collaborations, and two or three are on the way. Now, uh, I would like to uh, today. We are going to be covering a very very important topic and uh, like I uh, uh, already stated in my earlier videos on the YouTube that this time our YouTube channel which is the foreign exchange business thinker is getting personalized is getting uh, Excel based treasury videos so treasury videos using Excel and this is the first example of that already we had posted one videos today itself which covers the presentation but this is one of the examples of that now in this video we are going to talk about something very very unique which is how to value a forward contract now this is an excel file you can very well see that in this excel file you know what we did we just uh, you know we just make a hypothetical case like we said that today the spot rate of usd inr is 67.25 and 67.26 so this is bid and this is ask as written earlier here now bid means exporter selling and bank buying ask means bank selling and exporter buying and importer buying now these are the forward premiums which we decided that which we make it and these are very close to the premiums of the thomson reuters which we are having nowadays and these please be noted these are onshore deliverable premium please be note that these are onshore deliverable premiums now what does that mean now this means that this effectively means that that the one month premium is 30 paisa this is 31 paisa then so on so forth now this is in paisa now please don't misguide yourself that this is in rupees this is in paisa so one month premium is 30 paisa Two month in seventy pesa, three month hundred and ten pesa, four month this and twelve month is four hundred and seventy pesa, which is four rupees seventy pesa, and here it is four rupees seventy one pesa. Now, how to value a forward contract? Now, forward contract here we have taken an example of a two, both exporter as well as importer. First, we'll take you to the exporter, and then we'll take you to the importer. Now, when it comes to exporter, we assume that I am pressing F two here. Now we added the spot which was 67.25 with a premium which is 30 pesa. Now you can very well see that E10 is getting multiplied by 0 0.01 because we need to convert this into rupees. So 30 pesa means 0.3 rupees, right? And we are subtracting 0 0.0025. Now from where this 0 0.0025 is coming? 0 0.0025 stands for one fourth of a pesa. One fourth of a pesa. Now what happened in the companies as you understand that I was acting as a treasurer for uh, EXL service holding and my 10 years of experience as a corporate treasurer. So the big companies whenever they are doing the forward contract from either export side or they are doing a forward contract on the import side. What they are going to do they are going to have uh, they are going to pay some charge. You may treat this as a bank charge you may treat this as an administrative charge you may treat this anything this is up to you. So what does happen that this is some charge which banks needs to pay and how it works that you now generally in industry this is one fourth of a pesa one fourth of a pesa I will show in front of you from where 0 0.0025 is coming one fourth of a pesa one fourth so it effectively means one by 400 you can see here 0 0.0025 is coming so this is this is the price which is coming I pressed F2 here now you can very well see that if on onshore this is onshore forward contracts if on onshore you sell for one month you will get 67.5475 and if you sell for if two months you get 67.94 and then so on so sitting today you test sell for 12 months which is you know uh, today is 29th of july 2016 so you are selling for 28th of july 2017 you will get approximately 71.95 which is 71.9475 the same is the case with an importer now importer is little bit different the mechanism remains the same but there is a small change here you need to add one fourth of a pesa or a bank charge 
Now please be note that the one fourth of a peso is something which I assume, but it vary from company to company. So there are companies who are paying one peso, there are companies who are paying two peso, there are companies who are paying one and half peso, there are companies who are paying two or three peso. So it depends. It vary from company to company. So there is no hard and fast tool that you go or go going or only to have a one fourth of a peso. So I'll take one more example. Suppose we have Infosys here. If Infosys sell for six eight months, right? Infosys sell for eight months, then they are going to get seventy four point three five or three four seven five. If you have L and T, if you have L and T, and L and T wanted to buy for eight months, they are going to pay seventy point three seven two five. This is how the valuation of the forward contracts would work. So let me repeat here again that you are having. Spot rate, which is sixty-seven point two five on the bid side. Bid means uh, exporter buy, exporter selling and bank buying. R side means importer buying and bank selling. You're gonna have forward premiums. We we here assume the forward premium based upon Thomson Reuters. We use the round function and just made it round. Like take an example. Actually, it was thirty point something, but we made it round. So we calculated the outright rates. This is known as outrights. We calculated the outright rates for forward exporter, export uh, exporters. We calculated the outright rates for forward importers. Now this is how it works. But in big corporates, in big corporates things would be little different. Little different in the sense that now taking an example of a few corporates which are writing here. Suppose you are doing a transaction for this company. You are doing a transaction for this company. You are doing the transaction for this company. You are doing the transaction for this company. You are doing the transaction for, say, Google. Then they won't accept that. They accept mid swap, and mid swap is something which you need to understand. Mid swap is only given to importers. It is not given to exporters. So don't be in a dilemma that even an exporter get mid swap, because if an exporter get mid swap, he would always be at loss. Because if an importer get mid swap, he would always be in a gate. Now, as the word suggests, mid swap, these forward premiums which you are which you are having here, this, what are they? I am doing I am doing control. What are they? They are swap points. Some people refer this as premium. Some people will uh, say you know the cha, uh, basically the the interest, the impact of interest or the interest rate parity. There are people who are using the word swaps, and I, to an extent, it, it is right as well. Now, these two are the bid and ask. Now, if I average that, which is F two, then I would get a mid swap. You understand that mid means average. I will get a mid swap, and I am using Control D as a function. You can see that everything is automated. You will get a mid swap. Now, now you can very well see. Suppose L and T wanted to go for eight months. So they wanted to buy at seventy point three seven two five. Sitting today, L and T is doing that. They are doing the transaction at seventy point three six seven five. Now see the difference. The difference is point zero zero seven zero. This is approximately point triple point double zero seven percent is the impact which L and T would have in the books if they are going to get mid swap. Let me repeat again. It is only the big corporates who are getting the impact on mid swap. Not all. So if all corporates start getting the impact of mid swap, then the theory of mid swap would go on. It is only the big corporates who are getting the impact on the mid swap. Now here we show the dollar savings also to you, but we assume that we assume that the deal is of five hundred million dollars. That is, you can see that five hundred into ten is to the power six into this percentage gain. Right. Although this percentage is annualized, so there are people who what they do, they will day into you know uh, into one by twelve, into two by twelve to convert it that. But we are not doing that way. Right. So what we did, we are doing five hundred million into ten this to the power six. So the total is five hundred million into M ten. M ten is this percentage. So if L and T would have gone, like we are taking an again an example of this. LNT would have gone for eight months. The rate would be seventy point three seven two five, but now it is seventy point three six seven five. So the total difference is point zero zero seven one percent. So if I term, assuming the deal is of five hundred million dollars, and if I term this, then this is approximately thirty five thousand and five hundred and twenty eight dollars of the saving for LNT. This is how the onshore forward contracts are getting calculated. Let me let me repeat. 
the biggest point of contention in the onshore forward contract is the mid swap or not but as i earlier suggested that mid swaps are not given to everybody mid swaps are given to big corporates so don't expect that if you are a small importer that you will get a mid swap you will surely not get a mid swap right and this is how it works you have 1 to 12 months premium we had given you premium we let you know that you know this is basically how you will calculate the forward contract rate and uh, this is how it works this is how you're going to calculate the uh, basically uh, import side which is the uh, forward importers so this was uh, about today that uh, we are in using the excel we had produced you that how to value the forward contract you very well understand that how to contact us you can contact us at treasury consulting llp at the rate gmail.com if you want to write us uh, you can write on our alternate email id rahulwagan8 at the rate gmail.com our contact number is intact 9899242978 and hope this video helped you and as earlier suggested in other other videos there are multiple videos which are on the way and as soon as uh, you know we are going to have multiple uh, topics pertaining to mathematics of our treasury function and we would like we would also like to stress uh, also like to stress one fact here before winding up the video that treasury consulting llp did an international collaboration with wbr which is worldwide business research which is a singaporean based firm with this treasury consulting llp would act as a media partner for them and also assisting them in in research i personally myself going in singapore in november 2016 to attend an international conference wherein i will not only speak but also represent my company so all our members who are the part of the maverick traders you are most welcome to contact to maverick uh, most welcome to contact to wbr and you will get an absolutely brilliant uh, brilliant discount of 15% as well thank you and uh, have a good luck